Hello. Kind of hilarious the way they run. I like that. That's a huge waterfall back there. Oh, I should probably get focused up here on killing zombies. And we're out. Do I have any more? It was a normal day in our lives. We were so happy, but all of a sudden, a never seen solar event changed everything. The world as we knew it was never more. At first, we thought the electricity was the only problem, but it was way worse. That burst of radiation changed our DNA forever. People started to drop dead, but they would come back as monsters. They were unstoppable. It got me where it really hurts. My family just vanished. It has been four years. Now I can't hide anymore. My resources are over. All right, so here we are in our bunker. And uh, it says gather resources. Pick pick up zero to six remaining resources. I'm going to grab all those, of course. And as you can see, it definitely has a, a Borderlands uh, look to it. So sort of artistic style to it. So come over here, grab this knife. I uh, can't pick up that... Can't pick up that battery, but we're gonna go ahead and oh, I thought that was a bandage. It's just an empty roll of toilet paper. That's that's the real re reason he's leaving the, the bunker. He ran out of TP. All right, so eight, 45 ACP compass lantern. I haven't really used the lantern that much yet, but uh, maybe I should start using it. So to equip the compass, press seven. Uh, can't do that while we're down here, but uh, once we go up here, we're we're leaving this place for good. So goodbye. You've been wonderful for the last four years. All right. So here we are in our neighborhood. Can't go back down here. And we already have zombies acting a fool around here. So I'm going to go ahead and put these things in our hotkeys. Put my med kit over there. Water over here. Let's see, our compass is going to go down here. Flashlight, armor, helmet. We have health, sleep, thirst, proteins, carbs, fats, and vitamins. So things that we need to watch out for. We also can make a rope. Make a variety of different types of uh, tools medicines right now we're relegated to just being able to make bandages out of alcohol and cloth and structures we can make some structures here there is base building in the game as well so that should be interesting plus once we craft a uh, hammer we will be able to have a radial build menu that gives us additional items that we can craft with that hammer so first things first is to move the pistol into the hot bar bring it up check the car engine okay we're gonna go do that so I love I love the way your hands look and I love the aiming on it. Um, we have 15 ammo. We went ahead and loaded up there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, kill this zombie here. I'm just gonna use the pistol. Pretty sure it'll draw a crowd, but that's okay. We'll be killing them all anyway. There you go. Takes three three headshots to hit or to uh, kill. I don't know if. I don't know if body shots work or not, but uh, I've just been going for headshots just to play it safe. Hello. They're kind of hilarious the way they run. I like that. That's a huge waterfall back there. Oh, I should probably get focused up here on killing zombies. And we're out. Do we have any more? Yeah, we do. Okay. Ammo is not in short supply. It's not, like, just everywhere, though. So, anyway. Uh, check the car engine. That's what we need to do. I can use the knife as well, but there's a pretty decent chance of taking some damage if you do that. So, I'm going to try to avoid taking damage if possible. Uh, of course, don't want to just be blasting everywhere either. So, this is our inventory, our backpack. It looks like we can unlock spaces eventually. We need a battery, a gas can tire, and four tires. We can repair it, but right now, the vehicle is in good shape. Contrary to the way it looks. But it's got good bones. So we're going to grab that. And uh, let's go look for some some of these items. Ah, a flashlight. That's a good find. We'll put that straight into our hand there. Now we need to... If we could, it doesn't have a battery yet. So if we find a uh, like a Duracell-looking C or D battery, uh, we'll pick that up. Add that to the flashlight. And it really helps a lot if you're stuck out at night and you're, you're looting. Because... Uh, there's another tire here. Go we'll grab this. It really does a, a nice job lighting up the area. Now there are, in addition to the zombies, there are NPCs like bandits, and not only will they fight you, they'll fight the zombies as well. So you can have like a three-way battle going at the same time, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. And they are, um, they can they can be tough. I mean, they can definitely ruin your day. 
So we got three batter or three tires, a battery, some metal. Uh, I'm not sure if there's anything worthwhile here. Some of the things that are high value items that you definitely want to grab onto, according to the developer, was um, toolkits. And in my experience, buckets. If I can find a bucket, that's great. Because that'll help us be a, get to the point where we can purify our water. And speaking of water, we got some water there as well. So we got two bottles of water, which would be nice. And there's our battery, so let's double click. Uh, I can't do it from that menu. i got to come over here. Let's double click that. We're going to put that battery into the flashlight. There we go. That's our flashlight battery charge level. Shoot over here. Nothing much. Grab another one of these. I need 10 of these to make a bedroll. So I want to make sure that I can... Was there anything there? I didn't even notice. Okay. My eyes were looking in the wrong place. All right. So let's uh, run over here to this house. Another battery. Okay. Now we can't store items in the trunk of the car. If we leave anything on the ground and then exit the game and come back... It will get rid of everything that's on the ground. So I don't think you can just leave everything on the ground and expect to come back. I learned that the hard way. If you need to do that, grab a nail and like four logs and build yourself a, once you have a, a hammer, stone hammer, build yourself a storage container. Or keep it in your backpack or in the trunk of your car until then. Uh, I already checked all these, didn't I? I think I did. Nope, 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 because right there is a toolbox. Interesting place for a toolbox. Usually the loot is pretty... Pretty well associated with wherever you find it. Like, you're going to find medicines and things like that. In Oh, here we go. Alcohol. Inside the uh, bathroom. More likely to find cloth. That sort of thing. Here we go. Cloth inside the uh, bedrooms. Okay, so we got 11 of those now. That's good. Now, if we get three cloth and that alcohol, we can make our own bandage, which heals for 30%. If we get uh, some pills, they heal for f uh, 50%, and a medical kit heals 100%. Can't break these, as far as I can tell. I've used a hammer, I've used an axe, and now the knife, and had no luck getting through that, so. All right. Let's head on over to the gas station. How are we doing our inventory space? Yeah, we still got, like, five more. Use. All right. Like, police cars typically have your ammo. And, uh, oh, another grass can. That's cool. That's good. That's good. Do we already have three? We need one more tire. Okay, let's grab that tire. Another medical kit. Woo. That's definitely not passing on that. I think we killed all the zombies in there. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Eat those words, buddy. Eat those words. All right. Should I just use... I think I'm just going to pop some shots into this guy's head here. I, I missed with the first one? Okay, apparently I did. All right. Let's see if we drew any more zombies with that. Now that we moved over to this area. I don't know if being indoors muffles the sound at all or not. Probably not. But you never know. What I really like to find is a machete. That's that's a game changer when it comes to killing these zombies in a stealthy, efficient manner. All right, we'll take that. They do stack up, so that's good. Take some more components. Always good for crafting. Metal. Metal scrap. Surprised I didn't find anything in the police car. Check these last two cars here real quick. Hopefully we get lucky. I don't, know, I don't think I've checked the backyard of that house yet. Eh, there might be something for a while. Why not? Oh, okay. I wish I could craft a bucket. I wonder if I can. I don't think I don't think I can. The nice thing is, uh, at least for now, running is free. Okay, I hear you, but I don't see you, which makes me even more nurse nervous. Um, okay. Let's uh, 
Come on. Is he stuck in the door? Where's he at? He was inside. Alright, well, if he doesn't want to fight me, that's fine. I'll take that rope. Inventory's full. Oh, well, let's drop everything off here. In the car. Let me see here. Uh, pretty much don't need that, that, that. Yeah, I mean, I can come back for that. I need those right now. I need that. Might as well fix them. Hello. There you go. Keep one of those. Put the snacks in there. Yeah, that's pretty much all I really need. And if you need to free up space, you can always put... Well, I don't know if you can put... But yeah, you can always put stuff down here in the hot bar and free up a little bit of inventory space. So, let's see here. Um, tires. Put those on. Put that battery in. That will charge up as we drive the car, so the alternator is not busted. Put the gas in there. We should have a... Uh, working car now. But I do want to check this house before we leave. <sighs> Since we are right here. Oh, another toolbox. Take that. Nails. Some uh, canned fish. We'll move quickly through this, but I'll try to describe anything that I grab. Some scrap metal. And a lighter. I'll take that. It only takes two stones, like you just find them on the ground, to uh, ignite a fire. So, honestly, matches and Lighters aren't that essential at this point. Again, this is very, very early access. It's a one-man development team. I will put a link in the description below. So far, very positive results on Steam. And I've been having a blast with it. I, I Kind of feels like Project Zomboid, but like first person. Okay, is there anything else around here? I don't think so. Well, I didn't find the elusive bucket. <sighs> That's okay. We'll make do. So, uh, let's go ahead and hop in the car. And one little trick with the car is you right-click to free look, and that's how you get out. You look at your door and you hit exit. If you have your lights on, it will drain the battery. Uh, so make sure you hit F to turn your lights on and off, to toggle them on and off. And when you're driving, if you actually don't use the free look, you'll get every bump through your body, through your watch. See how everything is like that? Now, if you hold free look, the car goes, but the, the body stays. So we're going to head on over to your log house. I'm going to hit hit a couple of these real quick. I also want to hit a nice river there. I also want to hit this little log cabin right here. Maybe we'll find a bucket there. Another medical kit. I've never had, I don't think I've found any more than the one I started with, actually. Now they're everywhere. All right, let's jump out here and check. We already have a flashlight. Not going to bother with that. Nothing there. And we'll check the back of this. Then I'll run over here to this house. See what we can find. Okay. Well, I said toolkits were kind of rare and you needed to be picked up whenever you find them. But uh, this game's kind of making a liar out of me about that. Anyway, let's see what we got here in the log cabin. Well, at first when they said go to the log cabin, oh my gosh. It's like a very well-balanced spiked club. I've never had this before, but I'm excited to try it. I pick up a sniper. Oh, there's a gun sticking out. Look at that. He is a very well-hidden sniper. Look at that. You can see him. Take a look at that and see what that takes. It takes 7.62 by 51 ammo. And we got a spiked baseball bat. I'm going to definitely put that down here. Um, yeah. Lucille is back. Okay, so yeah, don't skip on this cabin. Uh, the loot is random, so your loot may vary. But uh, yeah, that, that cabin's always been... Is that a machete? That's you. That's one of my favorite weapons, too. Uh, log, we'll pick those up. Wonderful. What have we got out here? More logs. Okay. So look for those little white circles that indicate something that you can loot. That's an easy way to, to tell if it's a lootable item or not. All right, well, we got the baseball bat. I'm interested to try that. I want to see how that looks. Oh, my God. 
It's pretty awesome. It might not be as good as the machete, but it's pretty awesome. I'll show you the machete here as well. You can be the judge. It's a little faster. I'll, I'll play with the I'll play with the baseball bat for a little little while here. Batter up and all that. And I will stop by each police car for obvious reasons. Well, eventually. For obvious reasons. And we got another sniper. And we got 12 gauge shells, which doesn't match the sniper. So I'm gonna leave that one behind. Uh, both in the same condition. Inventory space management becomes a thing um, until you start making your own uh, storage containers, which doesn't take too long to do. Kind of glad that I bumped out the zombie wave for seven days. I hope to kind of do one episode per day, if possible. And I guess I'm stopping at every car. <laughs> it seems like that. I'm not gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna get to the log cabin. There we go. Get rid of that message. So there's the house over here. And we will stop by police cars. And since this taxi's here, I will go ahead and check it as well. Uh, I think I already have a lighter. Let me double check real quick. Yeah, I do not. I will grab one. Just, just for giggles. Let's put some of this stuff over here. So it looks like logs stack up to four, and then they start a new stack. In case you're keeping track, get rid of that. Uh, oh, I did have a lighter in here. Never mind. I don't really need another one. Let's put it down there. So, okay. Go to the log house. All right, I am on my way. Now, I always miss my turn here. I think that's it right there. Yep, there it is. I was like, I made it this time. I got, the, I got this little path. It's not really a drive. I wouldn't call it a driveway. But, uh, yeah. So there are wild animals in this that will hurt you. Wolves, bears, boars. Um, they will team up. Like, you might be fighting zombies, and they might jump in the in the fight, too. Oh, there's my nice, beautiful log. Oh, no. Oh, no. I knew that it was going to happen, but uh, I had to. <laughs> you guys didn't. Look at that. What a mess. What a mess. Uh, they left me a rock and three logs. They teased me. We'll grab, grab these nails because they are good for crafting. You can find them. Um, when you loot around a little bit. Pick up a branch. I think there's another one. I think we should have three around here. Somewhere. There's, there's the other ones there. there. Okay, so that should do it there. Um, now we need to build a base marker, which we will do right here. So we need uh, three, we need two more branches. We already have the rope, so let's go ahead and um, if we need branches, let's just uh, we can use a machete on this, maybe? Will it let us? Yeah, well probably better to use the knife and not wear it out wear down the machete killing little innocent bushes but I'll switch next time I promise we'll make a little base marker now this is gonna be we're establishing this is our is our base so here we go doesn't protect us from anything wolves and ghouls or zombies or whatever they call them can still get to you um, yeah so and we can go hunting uh, with spears and all kinds of stuff. So we need to save our game. F8. If you, there's no auto save at this point in the build. Or what is it? Version point oh oh whatever it is. EA version two. Um. So, you see how many times I've saved up there? I guess we could hide the UI. So if you just want to go like that, you want to completely get rid of everything. You can just do that. You still get the little dot in the middle, but. Okay, so let's bring that back up. It doesn't even tell you how to bring it back up again. So hope you remembered what <laughs> what key you pressed. All right, um, let's see here. I'm going to grab this stone. They're good for crafting because we're going to need them to make our stone axe and our stone hammer and things like that. But uh, first thing I'm going to make is actually a stone. This is going to make it a lot easier. A stone pickaxe. Uh, I think it tells me to make a hammer. for. Yeah, it does right there. It says make a hammer. Uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to make a stone pickaxe first because then I can make a hammer right afterwards. So let's do that first. Let's make ourselves the stone pickaxe. That way we're not searching the ground for rocks. We just hit those boulders. And we need a rope for that. So I need to make a rope. We should have enough 
materials. I need some more plant fiber. Okay. Let me take my knife, put it down here. Bring that up and kill one more of these trees. There. Let's not let's not wear out the machete unnecessarily. But we have some great melee weapons. Alright, there we go. So we should be able to make our rope. There we go. Wonderful. Alright, I'm just gonna Yeah, I'll keep that. Yeah, we'll keep that. We might need that later. And I'm gonna go ahead and get another one. Get another one here. I don't think we have enough to make another rope. We're just shy, of course, so it's always good to have a rope in your inventory because we're going to need to make this hammer anyhow. There we go. All right. So let's make this rope again. There we go. Now we got two ropes. So we should be able to make our uh, pickaxe. There we go. And I will put that down here. I'll, I'll, I'll substitute it with the machete for now. Actually, let's move it over. So we got our weapons here, and then our tools over here a little bit. And then I want to do the hammer. There we go. See, it requires a rope, so we might as well get it done. Gotta be a little careful about the... The zombies you can kind of hear coming. But the wild animals, like the wolves, they kind of just let you know they're there by chomping on your backside. So be a little careful. Keep your head on the swivel when you're out here in the wilderness. So let's build a floor. And I think what we need for that is we just need our hammer here. And then I need the four logs and some nails. I think we should be good. Let's equip the hammer. And we're going to go over here to foundations. And this is what we need. Okay. Very good. I think we'll build... I think we'll build it right about... Right about there. That looks fine. It doesn't really matter. All right, now that once you're up here, you're not safe from the zombies. They will climb right up here with you. And you can do battle on a stage if you must. So I'm going to put that branch. What do we need? Build a campfire. Okay. Next thing here is we're going to get the campfire. I need five stones, but no problem. I don't have to go searching the ground anymore. I simply just break up these huge boulders. Small boulders. I guess it's all about perspective, right? There we go. So much easier than searching the ground. So build your pickaxe first, then build your hammer. Don't do it in the order they're telling you. You can also cancel, uh, skip a quest. You can cancel the tutorial. So you don't have to do a forced tutorial if you don't want to. If you guys are enjoying this, link's going to be in the description below for you to go pick it up on Steam yourself. And have your own crazy, wacky adventures. But so far, man, very impressed. I just hope that the uh, development continues. And what did I need? I need a campfire, didn't I? Yeah, there we go. Hope the development continues and it doesn't die off. Uh, that happened with Among Trees. I, from what I understand, it's been abandoned, which surprised me because that game was... It might have been one of the most beautiful games I've ever seen. And uh, from what I understand, it's abandoned. And it breaks my heart. I hope this doesn't go down the same path because this has a very charming feel to it. I really love I really love the comic book style Borderlands artistic design um, of it so far. So it's, it's been great. And we need to craft a spear. Let's go ahead and do that. Sorry, I get off on you know me. I get off on tangents. And they want me to go hunt an animal. So let's go hunt an animal. I don't think they care if you kill it with a spear or not, but... Uh, since we made the spear, we're going to kill it with the spear. Let's go look for a rabbit or something. Oh, there's a bird. That'll that'll work. That'll work. You can throw it. Right-click to hold it. Oh, oh, snap. Uh, you weren't there a second ago. <laughs> you weren't there a second ago. All right, I don't want to... Okay. I'm nervous about this boar because, can... from what I understand, they can attack. Let's skin this animal. Hopefully we don't get attacked while we're skinning it. I mean, at least we have medical kits, right? Okay, so we got that. Let's put that in our inventory, and we'll leave those behind for now. Uh, and meat goes bad pretty quickly, so I'm not interested in killing a bunch and then having it lay around for a couple days. It doesn't really work like that. So, all right, let's go ahead and cook the meat here if we can. 
Do I have a lighter? I don't think I do. Let's put some stuff back here. If I have space, I do. Let's put the components in there. Uh, put that over there. Nice pile of cloth, though. That'll be uh, handy later here. 12 gauge shells. Don't need that right now. And uh, keep the fiber. So, always good to have fiber. Okay, wait, did I grab? I need to grab that. I could use the stones to start the fire. I might just do that just for the heck of it. Throw the wood in there. There's no charcoal to take. Um, let's go ahead and ignite it. And let's let's try using a stone. 30%. Uh, let's let's do it with the uh, with the lighter. 100% chance, I guess. Throw the meat on there. Cook that meat up. How's our hunger doing? We're doing fine. This will completely fill up the uh, relevant categories. I believe it's fats and proteins. Maybe a little bit to vitamins, but this doesn't help with carbs. So you need to eat like potato chips and beans and things like that to fill up the uh, the carbohydrate bar. See how we're doing here? Yeah, it's halfway done. It's uh, what almost five o'clock in the afternoon or in the evening, and I feel like we've got quite a bit done so far. I could probably make a chest while we're waiting for this. This will not burn, so don't worry about it. It will go bad and then disappear if it sits there. Man, I'm gonna have to kill this boar just to get him out of the way. I think I'm gonna have to do that. Let's 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 do that. He uh, will probably charge us and attack us when we when we do this, but that's okay. Okay, that's exactly what he did. All right. Spike baseball bat works apparently <laughs> quite well. All right, I'm gonna leave him there and just see how long. Uh, let's take a look here. All right, I'm gonna leave him there. See how long he lasts, just as an experiment. Cause there's there's plenty of food to be had around here. We'll take that. Put that down here. Craft a bedroll. All right, say so when we do that. I kind of want to. Yeah, we can do that real quick. I kind of want to make a storage container, but uh, I guess we'll make the bedroll first since they asked so nicely. Go grab my sheets out of here. All right, and we'll put those sheets back. That fire should last almost the entire night. I'll probably add some just before I go to bed. We double click on that to unpack it, and there we are. It's unpacked. I'm just going to go ahead and put it up here like so. Not that it matters. I don't. I don't think it matters if it's here or on the ground, from a safety standpoint. But it kind of feels more, a little bit more like a bed, so I'm going to go with that. That it looks neat. It looks really cool. I like it. Okay. Use the bed roll to sleep. Not yet. Not yet. So hold your horses. I'm going to go make a couple storage containers. So we can offload everything, and then we can go do some looting tomorrow, because we need to find that bucket. So, let's see here. How's this? This is doing, this is the overall, right here, this little green bar. I moved it up here so you guys can see it better. That's the health of the uh, meat. When it goes here, it'll disappear and say it was ruined. So, just something to be aware of. Keep an eye on that so you don't waste your meat any more than you have to. And uh, as far, uh, this is a very slow decay rate. I'm not sure if items that are already spawned are decaying right now or not. I don't think they are. I think they only start once you either discover them or pick them up. So, all right. Let's go ahead and grab the... Uh, I don't have a stone axe, do I? Oh, I need to craft one of those. Let's uh, let's make one of those. What do I need? I need some rope, of course. And some stones, probably. Stone axe. I need some branches, rope, and stone. All right. We can do that. Get some branches, ropes, and stones. And I'll sort of get a little bit of both here. Get some branches and some uh, components to make the rope that I need. So, oh, yeah, that's right. I left behind the uh, feathers. Okay, let's see if we have enough to make a rope. I do. Let's do that. And then I should have enough branches at this point. Stone axe, yeah. Uh, just need some more stones. 
not a problem. Let's grab our pickaxe here. Go find a stone. There's one right behind my car, which I'll probably back into if... Oh, no, that's the board. Never mind. Uh, I was going to say, I'll back right into that if I don't move it now. All right, let's move over here. It's going to be something over here, I'm sure. There's, is that a stone? That looks like a stone. There we go. This will give us all the stone that we need. And there's one over there as well. But I'll just bust this up since we're here. I think that's everything. Yep, let's go grab this one real quick. Alright, now we got the stones. And another stone. And another branch. And <laughs> I missed picking up on the run. Alright, so let's make that stone axe. Wonderful. Alright, let's go chop down some trees, get some logs. I need four logs and a nail to uh, make a storage uh, chest. And each of these should be four, four logs. Along with a bunch of branches. I'll probably cut this one down just for good measure. I actually have, I think I had a couple stacks of logs already, didn't I? In the back of the car. But uh, that's okay. You can never, never have too many building materials. Now, I'm fairly certain if I save the game, I exit out, come back, I, I have a really high confidence that this will be gone. Anything that is on the ground seems to disappear even after a save. So, just something to keep in mind. All right, let's move our hammer down here, and then we'll do our constructing with the hammer here. No. No. That's not what I want. I already did that. Let me exit out of here. <laughs> Run into some issues there. I might need to exit out and come back in. If it keeps doing this. Yeah, it looks like it's stuck on this. Oh, there we go. Okay. So let's make a chest. There we go. I think what I'll do is I'll just put the chest over here. Right next to the fire. There we go. And it it's definitely very helpful. A lot of space. So, here. I'll put the nails over here. Some of the food. Stones, extra battery. Uh, I'll put the machete over there because I'm not using it right now. I'll keep this food because I'm going to eat it. I don't know how you split stacks yet. Uh, shift and control don't seem to do anything. Oh, there we go. Shift. Hold down shift and then you get this to come up. So that's how you do it. But if you right click with shift, it doesn't matter. So there we go. Put this over here. These over here. And then we'll rest until morning. I'm going to eat this first. Otherwise, it will definitely be gone by morning. It'll be be spoiled. So, let's go and eat that. Nice. All right. We're going to use the bedroll to rest. You don't have to sleep. You can stay awake if you want to. It's probably a good idea with the zombie waves. But for the sake of this gameplay, I wanted to go ahead and do that and try to stay as active as, as much as possible during the day and limit the activity during the night. Just because I know it's... Sometimes a little difficult for you guys to see what I can see when it comes to the way YouTube compresses videos. So, hold on, let me let me check something here. It's a uh, 2100 hours, so yeah, if we sleep uh, if we sleep uh, eight hours, it should be pretty good. Let's sleep for eight hours. Yep, fire's still going. Probably not much left. Oh yeah, 50% wood still. I wonder, I don't know if it even actually sped, you know, time-lapsed the, the burning when I was time-lapsing by sleeping. But, uh, okay, so be it. I'm going to leave this here. I've tried placing this down in other areas to sleep when I was out on excursions, and things just got real buggy. So I'm not going to mess with it. I'm pretty happy where it's at. If I need to return home to sleep, so be it. Uh, things aren't too far away. I'm going to bring out the, uh, the compass, show you guys. we got a motel, we got a mine here, stuff like that. So find a river and interact with the water, and then find a mine to farm special material or minerals. Use the compass to find the mine. So the mine is right here. It's 200, 
64 meters that way. We passed it on the way in, actually. And there's a lot of places to to go explore. This is our icon for for our house. Um, could probably go down here and kill this rabbit real quick, get some food. But yeah, well, other proteins. In. Yeah, yeah, we can get something later if we want to. But I'm gonna end this episode here. It's a pretty good intro, I think. And we will continue in in the next episode. I, I plan on making this a, a first look series and have, you know, five to ten episodes somewhere around there until we kind of explore everything that it has to offer at this point in development. And then we will circle back as uh, major updates drop. Hope you guys enjoyed. Y'all take care.